we just want to have a good day for America tomorrow. We're watching what's going on at our border. We see policies from this president opening that border. We see a governor of this state encouraging people to come here illegally. Sanctuary city policies and sanctuary state policies. We've seen one bad day after another. We see an ineffective foreign policy where we have to witness 13 Blue Star families become Gold Star families with a fatally flawed withdrawal from Afghanistan. We know that other nations are watching when Putin wants to go to Ukraine and, and China wants to take Taiwan and North Korea wants to ramp up missiles. Iran wants to ramp up uranium enrichment. They're watching what's going on in Washington, D.C. And they see that we have this vulnerability at the highest levels of our government. We want tomorrow to be a good day for America, a good day to secure our border, a good day for accountability of this president and his party. We care about the prosperity of our community, the future for our children. Tomorrow's going to be a bad day for Elon Omar and the squad. They've met some pretty formidable opponents along the way. But I got to tell you, Omar and Tlaib have never met Mozzie Pillip. It's up to us. November 2022, control of the Senate is up for grabs. In Nevada, they changed their laws, so there's more early voting, and they started ballot harvesting. And Republicans, they decided that they would wait until Election Day. And on Election Day, a snowstorm hit Reno. And there were Republican voters, when the snow hit in the morning, decided that they weren't going to make it to the polls. Control of the Senate, control of the House, the future of our country, everything that we want for our flag and our freedom, what we want our future to look like for years to come, it all comes down to our commitment on this day. Every single vote matters. No matter what it looks like outside tomorrow, if you have to shovel your way out of your driveway, whatever it takes to get to the polls, we need to turn tomorrow into a day that looks beautiful for this country. A day that fills Long Islanders and New Yorkers and Americans with hope. A day that sends Vazi Pillow to Congress to fight for all of us. With a story of knowing our values. A fighter, a soldier, a mother. Someone who will hit the ground running as a true leader to hold the other side accountable, to fight for all of us each and every day. A true fighter in every sense of the word. Yes, over the course of the next 24 hours, we are fully committed to doing everything in our power to make sure that your next speaker, our next congresswoman is sworn into office to fight for all of us. We need that great day for America. Let's give a big round of applause to that woman we've been hitting the street so hard for the woman who we will elect tomorrow as the next congresswoman from the third congressional district. A big warm welcome to Mozzie Pillow. Yeah.